Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Brenda Dickinson and today we're talking about Unity licenses. What are they and which one do you need? Spoiler alert, you don't need Unity Pro, just use Unity Personal. Okay, there's a bit more to it than just use Unity Personal. To start off, I want to say that there are actually a couple of licenses that I didn't mention in the title. The full spectrum of licenses includes Student, Personal, Plus, Pro, and Enterprise all of which I'll be talking about in this video. Normally though, you only hear about Personal, Plus, and Pro. So what is a Unity license and why do you need one in the first place? Well, a Unity license is a license to use the Unity Engine software. You have to have a Unity license in order to use the engine and depending on certain factors, you might need a specific license. Every license allows you access to all the features within the engine. So there are no tools that are locked behind a specific paywall or type of license, and that wasn't always the case. So let's talk about the first license, which is the student license. If you are a student who's 16 years or older and enrolled in an accredited educational institution, you can use the student license for free. This means that if you are in high school or a post-secondary school, you can get this license. This is very similar to the Pro License of Unity, as you'll get Unity Teams Advance and access to Cloud Builds and Diagnostics, which I'll dive a bit deeper into when we get to the Pro License. You can get free access to the Snaps assets, which are wonderful and normally cost hundreds of dollars. Also, there are revenue restrictions on most of the Unity licenses. For example, if you make X amount, you need a higher tier license. However, there are no restrictions on the student license, and you can create, publish, and sell games or products as long as your student status doesn't change. If you're a student, I would highly recommend trying to get this license. You'll have to go through a verification process, but it's definitely worth it. Next up is the personal license, which most people watching this video and in general are going to want. The personal license is free, and while it does give you access to the entire toolset of the engine, you won't have access to cloud services or be able to customize your splash screen which means you'll be stuck with the Made in Unity in front of your game, and if this bothers you, there is a workaround. You can actually build your entire game or product, and when you're going to publish it, you can upgrade your license and update your splash screen, so you don't need to pay for a higher tier license until you're actually going to publish. There is a big reason why you won't be able to use Unity Personal, and that is if you or your company has made over $100,000 in revenue or funding within the last year. For example, the company I co-founded, Filmatic, received more than that in funding, so we had to use the Pro licenses. You will also get a single integration with a collaboration tool with the personal license, such as Slack, Discord, or Jira. Next up is the Plus license, which is going to run you $399 a year or $40 a month per seat, which just means per person working within the Unity engine. And this is pretty similar to the personal license, but you do get to personalize your splash screen or remove it completely. You'll also get as many integrations with collaboration tools as you'd like. You'll also get advanced cloud diagnostics, which is going to help you understand what bugs are happening in your game, even on other people's devices, while beta testing or even after publishing. The Plus license does also have a revenue cap, but this time it is $200,000 within the last 12 months. This leads into the Pro License. This is going to cost you a whopping $1,800 a year or $150 a month, but this license does come with some nice additions. In addition to all the features of the Plus License, you will also get three seats of Unity Teams Advance, which includes Unity Collaborate and Unity Cloud Build. I haven't used Collaborate as much, but it's a nice alternative to normal version control. Cloud Build, on the other hand, I use with all my projects and it's a really nice online tool that you can set up with your projects and every time you go to push a specific branch to your repository or push a change to collaborate it will automatically start building on a server somewhere then after a little bit of time it's going to send you a link to the build and you can forward that to anyone that you'd like to have it and they can download the build directly from that basically this is a way of streamlining the build process so you don't have to make builds yourself and send them to whoever needs them Instead, you can spend more time developing. Also, you can build to closed platforms using this license. That includes things like Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, or Stadia. In order to actually deploy to those platforms, you need to have a Pro license. With the Pro license, you're also going to get access to high-end art asset packs, as well as priority queue for customer service. The Pro license has no revenue cap, so even if you're making millions of dollars, you still only need to have this Pro license. 
Last up, there is the enterprise license. This is meant for bigger teams, mostly companies like Blizzard working on something like Hearthstone. The enterprise license is going to cost you $4,000 a month for 20 seats. It comes with everything in the pro license tier as well as increased build server license capacity, tech support, a customer success manager, tailored learning plan, and live learning sessions. Again, this is just going to be for much bigger studios working with bigger teams. So what license makes sense for you? In summary, if you're a student, get the student license. If you're a solo or indie developer, get the personal license. And when you go to publish, upgrade your license if you want to personalize your splash screen. If you work at a company that does Unity development, the pro or enterprise licenses would then be necessary. Let me know what you thought about the video. Hopefully I helped you understand what these different licenses are for and which one would be best for you. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, leave it in a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer them. As always, have fun creating, and I'll see you next time.